Okay, so over the next couple of videos, we will be discussing a bunch of different printing options inside of Excel. Printing spreadsheets may seem simple at first, but sometimes the page break splits in weird places or you might not be able to get everything on a spreadsheet on a single sheet of paper. But the good news is, is that Excel provides a lot of different settings that we can change so when we go to print our spreadsheets, they will look good on a sheet of paper as well. So the first step to print a spreadsheet is select the file tab and then click print. And you should be a little bit familiar with this window working in other office applications such as Word or PowerPoint because they all share the same printing window. From here we can select the amount of copies we want to print. We can select the printer and the printer properties and change a variety of different page settings. So without changing any of the settings, let's take a look at our print preview. Currently, it looks like our report is good, but if we come down to our chart, it looks like the edge is a little bit cut off. So right now we're viewing page one. Let's see what's happening in page two. I'm gonna give this arrow a click, and now we can see that our arrow is actually cut off, part of our chart, and the pie chart is getting printed on a different sheet. If we want to make all of this fit on one page, we can by changing some of the page settings. So I'm going to go back to page one. So one of the settings that we can change to get more space on our page is to change the page orientation. Currently it's on portrait. If we switch this to landscape, now our arrow is not cut off, but still our pie chart and column chart is still not fully on the page. So another thing we can do is change the scaling. Currently the setting is set to no scaling. If we click this drop down, we can select fit sheet on one page. So everything on the first sheet will be condensed to make it fit on this one page. If we give this a click, so Excel automatically adjusted the size to make everything fit on this page. Another option we can do to get some more space is to change the margins. Currently, it's on normal margins. If we select this drop down, we can select narrow. And that will help get everything closer to the edges of the page. Now, if you want everything to be centered on this page, once again, you can click on the margin settings, go down to custom margins, and then here we can select center on page horizontally and vertically. And if we click OK, now everything is centered on the page for a more organized and cleaner look. Now let's say that you don't want this pie chart to be printed out. We don't actually have to delete the pie chart off our sheet in order for it not to be printed out. What we could do is go back to our spreadsheet, select our chart, give it a right click, and select Format Chart Area. And then our format window pops up here on the right. And if we select the properties button and expand the properties, we can deselect the print object. Meaning that when we go to print this sheet, this pie chart will not get printed out. So let's see. First, we need to deselect the chart, go back up to the file tab and select print. Now our pie chart is not there even though we didn't have to move it in our spreadsheet. And Excel saved all of our settings and automatically readjusted everything to be centered on the page. And one more thing that I want to point out, currently one of our settings is set to print active sheets, meaning it's only going to print the sheet that you have opened. If you have multiple sheets and you want to print every sheet, you can select this drop down and select print entire workbook. But in this case, we only have one sheet, so I'm going to just keep it to print active sheets. 